really smart. I know okay. she is. So we're all we're all learners, right? So we our guesses could be wrong, and nobody cares about that. So what's happening with A? What do we decide is the pattern for A? What's going on with it? Are we adding? Yeah, it's doubling every time. So if it's doubling every time, that means you're multiplying by two every time. So does that make it arithmetic or geometric? Uh, I bet you know. That makes it geometric because you're multiplying by the same number every time. On card A, I know you already wrote times two from yesterday. So make sure that you write geometric. Yeah, you can say, I, I don't care if you abbreviate or not. So, Anaya, what's, what's B? It's adding two. Okay, we established that yesterday. We're adding two. So is that going to make it arithmetic or geometric? It's arithmetic. Arithmetic. Well, it, that's possible because sometimes they're neither, though. That's the only thing. But you're right. Like, a lot of the time it is geometric if it's not arithmetic. You, you, you got another? Which, which one are you going to give me, sir? Letter C. Okay, what's letter C? Okay, I'm sorry. We got somebody saying awfully smart stuff. Jay, please forgive us. Let's go. Letter C is uh, geometric. Why is letter C geometric? Because you're multiplying three every time. Because you're multiplying by three every time. Do we agree with him? Are we okay with that? Yes. Okay, we should be because he's correct. You got another one for me? Okay, so we got H. Okay, so what are you telling me that H is, ma'am? Okay, so I heard one arithmetic. I heard one geometric. What's happening here? Okay, we're adding four. So it's arith arithmetic. Okay, there's one I want to ask you about. Let's talk about letter L for a moment. Because we said it was... It was going down by one, then it was going down by two, then it went down by three, then it went down by four, etc. Now, a lot of people would say, well, we're adding or subtracting. Okay, so this must be an arithmetic sequence. What did we say yesterday makes it an arithmetic? Because it's like, well, the, so here's my change, and my change is increasing by one every time. So that means it must still be an arithmetic. What do you think? So the decrease, I love that you're saying that. The decreasing is like increasing. Like the amount of decreasing is changing. For it to be an arithmetic, remember we said it's got to be increasing or decreasing by the same amount every time. So would we vote for an arithmetic or no? It does add one every time, but is the same number is the same number being added to each and every turn? So actually, guys, this one is neither, because we're not multiplying the same number every time. I would write neither under here, absolutely. Now, because I wanted to bring your attention to this one, because it throws people off, because they're like, well, the I, like we said. The increase or the decrease is increasing. So in that constant, that means where it's changing by the same amount every time. And it is not. It is all about this yellow, okay, the actual difference in between the terms. If that difference is not the same. Now we're going to talk about what happens when this is the one that actually changes at a constant rate, but we're not doing that for a minute. But for it to be arithmetic, that difference, what I've got in yellow, the number between each term has to be the same. Otherwise, it is not arithmetic. But actually, N is a good one um, because I'll bet a lot of... I'm going to go ahead. Well, tell me, you tell me what you, I'm going to tell you N is challenging. I actually put this one in the wrong category at first. Does that mean I don't know what I'm doing? No. Okay, just made a little mistake. Anybody, so do we do we notice what pattern is happening here? There is a pattern. Oh, it's, it's the, uh, the 14. The, the 14 is the 7-3 to change. Oh, no, look, it goes up. 
I love I love the thinking out loud. Think out loud. Like, oh. so let me give you a clue about what you should do. Let's say they love sequences on your map test, for example. Okay, chances are 99% of the time, so it's either it's either arithmetic, geometric, or nothing. I would do myself a little test case. I would actually take, I would try arithmetic first, and here's how I would do it. Because right now, we're not 100%. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. I just changed how I want to do this. This is arithmetic. And I want to give you a minute to try to figure, so if it's arithmetic, what does that mean? You're increasing the same number every single time. How could you figure out what that same number is? Oh, by subtracting what? The first number by the second number. Okay, or can I, is it okay if I rephrase that, the second one minus the first one to find that difference? Why don't we do that real quick? Figure out what that common difference is. Somebody else check her and make sure she's right. Is it 20.5? It's negative 20.5. Oh, thank you for catching me. You're right. So it's not a plus 20.5. The common difference is a negative 20.5. So here's what I would do if I were you. If I'm trying to determine, hey, if you're trying to decide what kind of sequence it is, if you're not sure if it's arithmetic, just take two of them and subtract and see if you get the same number. Then take two other ones. If you do 1411.7 minus 143, you know, minus these two, you're going to find you get the same number again there too. So if you get the same number from subtracting two of them, then you know that it's an arithmetic sequence. If you subtract two of them and you don't get the same common difference, then what could you do? Try dividing them and see if you get the same number. Then you know that it's a geometric. Exactly. So we're going to do a little test case like that. Okay? Now, we're going to do a little practice. We are not finishing. So this one was an arithmetic, right? Because we had a common difference, which you're the one that just told me, ma'am, right? What was it? Negative 20.5? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so this one is, in fact, an arithmetic for those of us that didn't get it. The main thing I want you to get out of today is if you're not sure, if it doesn't immediately jump out at you, do some trial and error. Take two of them and subtract them and see whether or not you get the same, like subtract two different pairs and see if you get the same difference. If you don't, try to divide two different pairs and see if you get the same number. Because either way, that's a way you can test. Is it arithmetic or geometric? Okay, that's as far as we're going to get with these today because we're going to do a little practice with arithmetic and geometric by playing a little kahoot.